The title of today's class is Betrayal, How to Deal with It. Betrayal, How to Deal with It. Every one of you has been betrayed in life. I'm sure if you start thinking about situations where you say, that person let me down, in fact, that person betrayed me. Most people have also betrayed. Maybe when you were younger, you might not be doing it anymore, but you, you betrayed. Most of, most of us have done betrayal of one sort or another. The interesting thing about betrayal is all betrayal is ultimately a betrayal of self. All betrayal is ultimately a betrayal of self. When one person betrays another, he's betraying himself. Why, I, why do I say that? Well, we're eternal souls. Almost all of you believe that, or most of you believe that we're eternal souls. So the time comes where we stand before God where there are no lies, and this is what we've done. So they exchanged uh, some minor gain uh, in a material sense in this life uh, for, for their honor, for their virtue. Or they traded virtue uh, for material gain. They traded honor for some type of gain, whether the gain was uh, money, property, uh, sexual exploits, whatever they perceive as the gain. They traded their honor for that. They traded virtue for that. They traded their well-being as they leave this life into the next life. They traded light for darkness. It's a big price. So ultimately, all betrayal is a betrayal of self. I'm going to ask you, uh, I made the position that all of you have betrayed or been betrayed, and I know, Greg, does that apply to you? That you've it's always been a case. You've been betrayed or betrayed. Does that mm. applies to you? Yeah, definitely. Um, Numerous times. Yeah, yeah. That, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, definitely. Yeah. Yes. Girlfriend. Yeah. Brothers, family. Relatives, family, girlfriend. Yeah. Uh, of course. Each of you watching could say, yeah, here is the list of betrayals. It's a little tougher sometimes to see how you betray others. But if you're honest with yourself, you'll find some situations where that took place. Now, what are the characteristics of betrayal? Typically, there's a breaking of your word. You said you're going to do something, and you didn't do it. Or you said you're not going to do something, and you, you did not refrain from doing it. So usually, that's usually involved. It could be a written contract, like a business contract, or an agreement of some other nature between two people in writing. And of course, we know there's a long history of nations betraying each other with treaties. How many treaties did, did we as Americans have with the American Indian where they were betrayed where we broke those treaties and kept pushing them to reservations? and put them in harm's way uh, for our own material gain. We did that. Uh, Russia and Germany had a peace treaty, a non-aggression pact in World War, before World War II, and Germany violated that and invaded Russia. The violation of treaties goes way, and these were written treaties, signed with the dignitaries of nations, with pomp and circumstances, and is violated. And how many betrayals within the family, even going back to what was it, Jacob and Esau, Cain and Abel, in the family, brothers killing one another or cheating one another out of one another's inheritance? Or the kinds of betrayal where a parent becomes frail and ill and in the hands of one of the children who then exploits that parent for their, for their gain at the loss and the expense of the other siblings and then gets the money for himself or herself, even though that and, and did whatever it took a vulnerable parent, frail and exploiting that frailness and that vulnerability, child to, to parent, child to mother, son to mother, daughter to mother, son to father, mother to father, exploiting the will and getting the lion's share 
and depriving, depriving others who are entitled to an equal share not getting it. How common is that? I'll tell you right now, uh, inheritance, state attorneys charge over, uh, f huge fees, huge fees because people will fight to the death to try to get their share what was owed to them.